Alrighty guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to remove and also inspect containers. Sounds pretty exciting, I know, I know. So let's go ahead and just view all the containers that we have so far. So I'm gonna do Docker container, LSA, and okay. I mean, a lot of these we just, we just don't need anymore. It's in fact kind of embarrassing how many containers I have on my computer right now. So I wanna start getting rid of some of them. So this one, pinggoogle.com, definitely not going to be using this again. So let's figure out how to remove it. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is copy this container ID right there. And a very simple command to remove any container, you can do docker container rm, and then you can paste in the container ID. All right, it looks like it was removed. Now, just to confirm, yes. All of them are still there instead of this individual one, CB71, which was just removed. Now, another thing that I wanna point out, and it's probably not gonna happen in this example, but removing a container is sometimes going to fail. And this happens whenever you have some processes that are running inside your container. Remember that weird edge case that we saw last time? Either way, the point I'm trying to make is if you ever need to force removal of a container and let's say docker container rm and then the container ID itself. And by the way, this is this container ID I'm using for this little example. If this command ever bugs out and fails and you need to force removal right after this rm, you can do dash f and this is just going to force removal. So again, if you ever get any errors, then you can force it and it'll clean it up. Remove it from your computer, nice little tip. Now another cool command is inspect. Now the inspect command allows you to view more detailed information, and I mean a lot of information about a container, a lot more that's just on one of these lines. Now to demonstrate that, let me just grab any random container ID, and that is docker container inspect, and then you can just paste in the container ID. Now, what this is gonna return is actually a list, and it this is formatted JSON. So, lots of information about your container, not only the ID, the creation date, the image, yada yada. You guys can um, go through this if you want and see all of the different fields. But just wanna show you guys what Inspect does. It returns JSON, so this might be useful if you're, let's say, creating a digital currency network and you need to simulate an entire peer-to-peer -peer network on your own computer and you want to view information about each node, but like, who would do that? That's just a crazy example. No one's gonna make this entire digital currency network. Now, last but not least, and I know I mentioned this in a previous video, but I just wanna reiterate since I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty common command, especially if you're just getting started learning Docker, that is how to delete all containers from your system, and that is Docker system prune and if you do hyphen hyphen all this is going to wipe everything including the cache so you can run this and just verify yes and another thing to note is whenever you run this it is going to have to re-download from docker hub any containers that you had before so that's fine cleaned up some space and now just to verify if i list out all my current containers i have nothing a nice clean system so I thought I was gonna have time to talk about exec in this video, but there's a lot to that, so I'll actually break it up into the next video. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.